believe this is my office. I get paid to be here. I get to spend all my time looking at these mountains, looking at the Cairngorms, looking at all the wonderful wildlife that, that comes here every year. And wow, it's amazing. This morning, we are off to the main reserve to see if we can find everyone, make sure everyone's alive and uh, check them all. Yeah, I love it up here. It's very, it's very different, but it's a good different. Morning rounds are an essential part of a zookeeper's day. It's time not just to give the animals some supplementary food, but to check on their welfare. So we've got 36 red deer, so it's a nice herd size. Definitely a bit suspicious. Standard hoof stock. So the key now is a nice formation, so I can count them all. 11, 12, 15. So I've got 36. 36 red deer. The concern that I would have if I couldn't find one just now would be that they were maybe injured. They're really hardy though, red deer, so they're quite used to the climate that we have. It's perfect for them here. Everyone thinks deer are boring, but I think they're really cool. The deer share the main reserve with a herd of Chevalsky wild horses. <laughs> they're gonna steal the food. These distant cousins to domestic horses are critically endangered. Get your own food. They aren't shy when it comes to the matter of food. Look at them, poachers stealing all that pellet. Honestly, the deer are raging. <laughs> all the species in here get on really well. The great thing about the reserve is that there's so much space, um, so much space that they can all kind of just live in their little groups. Next for feeding are the European bison. The park's herd is one of the largest in the UK. Look at them just like, we're not gonna move. He's gonna get angry because he's hungry. There he goes. Bison have big appetites and in the wild can spend up to two thirds of daylight hours feeding. We've got 12 of them, so a lot of hungry mouths to feed big animals. Three bags of pellet today, 20 kilos a bag. So that'll keep them going. Okay. Let's start. This is my morning workout. You have to be quick and you have to be strong, which is fine. Oh, she gave me a fright there. <laughs> I was like, oh, don't run. The herd is an important part of the European breeding programme. Hopefully we have more bison babies this year. The park supports rewilding and in 2019, two females born here were released in northern Spain. Phoebe's happy being among the females and their youngsters. Oh, here comes the big lad. But Tomek, the 200 kilogram male, is a different matter. Pushing his way through, we'll jump in, yeah. Get some poop. One of the, the most common misconceptions about zookeeping, that it's all cuddling and all happy, happy, dancing around with animals, it's not like 95% of what we do involves a lot of poo. It's like the main part of our job. It's so heavy. It's lots of different types, shapes, sizes, smells. Uh, it's great if you're into that kind of thing. But saying that, it's still the most rewarding job. And I would pick, I would pick doing this over sitting in an office any day. With dozens of animals fed and watered, Phoebe has finally finished her morning rounds. They're all quite settled, they're all quite happy. Happy animal, happy keeper. That's what we want, that's what we do this for. I'm very glad that I made the move up to the Highlands. It's, it's been life-changing in a sense, and I'm very happy up here. Oh, the sun's coming out. What is this rare specimen? Taps off. 